just a quick update I haven't uh, put any videos up for a while because I've been uh, quite busy in doing background things and uh, I moved temple and now I'm in the north again <clears throat> I'm in Nongkai I'm staying by myself on a private hermitage and um, I'm using this time to um, reflect and quiet and you know have a quiet place and just get into my practice more and more and more behind the scenes I've been doing a lot of things um, that I've talked about before so I won't talk about here I just want to thank you all for supporting the channel um, even though on YouTube and BitChute I'm noticing that uh, the growth has been slow on YouTube I got a message that my views are being uh, uh, what is it inaccurate counting or something I can't remember the exact message but anyway they they told me that they're not reporting the exact <clears throat> views on the videos um, in some some uh, in some circles I would say I was shadow banned for whatever reason I've, because I've talked about certain things and that's what we face on YouTube is constant censoring and we've got to tiptoe around speech and words and all that kind of stuff right now when, please don't get offended I don't like looking into this camera too much I like looking around me because I'm in a um, I'm in a forest and I'm in a forest temple by myself and I uh, there's a nice view around here especially at night it's nice and quiet hopefully you can hear the background it's very quiet here it's very good conducive to practice so today I just wanted to kind of reconnect with uh, my two channels the YouTube and BitChute and uh, thank you all for supporting it thank you to those who have been commenting uh, thank you to the new subscribers uh, just want to let you know that you know if you want to contact me or you want to be part of the discussion where we have live conversations uh, the place to do that is on Buddhist Buddhist .cafe. Uh I've built that website um, to have to deepen the Buddhist discussion and uh, to talk about practice and other relevant issues uh, so you can join us there uh, if you have any issues just let me know so talking about practice and talking about I guess advancing in life in some sort of way uh, and what I'd like to say about this lately is that uh, you know we're getting closer and closer to um, to war to big war and uh, if not enough people start uh, practicing diplomacy and start practicing goodwill towards others towards oneself and others on a diplomatic level on a political level um, you may it may not go in a great direction it's very dangerous um, I think uh, schools of thought are causing this issue and why it's important I think to encourage others to uh, concentrate and reflect and to uh, ponder on right view and what the Buddha talks about right view about seeing things as they are because this is the most peaceful way I think look it's easy to be violent uh, it's easy to cause division uh, in the local community and family and society and you know, to from the from the from the lowest denominator to the highest denominator you know it's easy to do that and it's profitable in a lot of ways because unfortunately in this world people profit from a lot of things that just aren't right livelihood or are not in line with right view and this of course does not bring benefit to oneself in the long run and certainly does not bring benefit to the community nor to the country when morality goes out the window 
uh, when the young are not protected, when the elderly are not protected, when when uh, leadership uh, involves itself with uh, excuse me, there's again mosquitoes <laughs> can't be avoided. Yeah, when the leaders of the community are not engaging in staunch moral ethics and the views aren't in line with the correct views they're not in line with uh, how things are and particularly with Anichang uh, understanding impermanence uh, understanding that we're one human amongst many humans understanding that because life is impermanent we're all we're all due to the same fate, in other words, the end, right? Death, passing away. And uh, so there's no point being violent. Now, unfortunately, violence um, is different from protection. And people, I think this is one of the biggest problems that there's misunderstanding that causes a lot of misunderstanding. The difference between protecting oneself, family, community, nation, right? I think this is our duty to protect ourselves and our families and our community. And it's not just protecting from violence, it's protecting from fires, from protecting from famine, right? Protecting from uh, corrupt behaviors, immoral behaviors, dangerous behaviors, right? That uh, hurt people and harm people. Now, of course, this is a you know deep discussion, and you know a few minutes on on YouTube is not gonna it doesn't do it enough justice. Uh, so I just want to briefly touch on this subject. But what's hard to do? What's really hard to do? is creating harmony and unity and peace. Now, if you think about this for a while, you'll see that this is really difficult to do, particularly because each individual has a train of thought, their own thought process, their own opinions, right, their own views. And to align these views in a collective is not so simple but is it necessary to align all the views in a collective to achieve harmony and peace I don't think so I don't think so although difficult I don't think so I think we can live together uh, with different views with if the goal if the ultimate goal is to come back to morality and to see things as they are right, in the Buddhist way, then I think uh, we can do this. But this is difficult to do, particularly, I mean, just look at your own family. Look at your own environment. Look when you went to school or if you're at school or university in the world and competitive and uh, capitalism and how hard it is to earn a living and how hard it is to be honest and earn a living, how hard it is to earn a living in the right livelihood way. It's very difficult, right? It's difficult. But when you see things as they are, there, you know, I was having this conversation with someone a while ago about free will and uh, choice. And this is really interesting because when you talk about choice and free will, when you see Dharma... I think free will goes out the window because you're not given a choice. There's only one way to do things, especially when you see the difference between right and wrong, sama and micha. There's no choice. So free will goes out the window. This is why uh, the Buddha talks about the five aggregates as not self. Right? Your perceptions are not self. Your thoughts are not self. They don't belong to you. They come and they go, right? like the waves of the ocean right try to grip on the wave it's a or a turning wheel you, you know try to grip a turning wheel with your hand you may break your arm you know there's 
the concept of life. It's the experience is constantly turning, and so are the five aggregates, and so are the thoughts and processes, perceptions. You know, the fabrications we keep fabricating and things like this. But to a lay person, these things are really real, and you have to survive in a world that's full of different views, full of different schools of thought. It's easier said than done to say let's let's achieve harmony and peace and try to do no harm when other schools of thought don't engage in this because there are schools of thought in this world that is have an us and them approach. If you're not with us, you're the enemy, you're against us. Uh, there are schools of thought that think very low of people who are not part of their collective, right? And there's uh, schools of thought that are uh, charged with uh, insurmountable amount of greed, hatred towards others. And they tend to win most of the time because they're violent and they're very forceful and they're forceful. But I ask us uh, ourselves, you know, I ask myself and I ask you to reflect if this is more powerful than, than wisdom. And I don't think it is. And the problem is wisdom, the pursuit of, right, through the, through the Noble Eightfold Path, there's not enough of us out there who are very staunchly committed to this, uh, committed to this, right, <clears throat> committed to correcting ourselves, right, to improving our focus and awareness in you know, trying to live a moral life, right, moral ethics, to try to hone our concentration, to live the right way, to speak the right way, right, to think the right way, <clears throat> to view things the right way, right, to apply ourselves the right way. And this, of course, always points to wisdom in the long run, right? Great wisdom, great focus, great concentration. Maha, right? Maha sati, maha samadhi, maha panya, great wisdom. <clears throat> and I think in the end, when you get old, when we get old, and we look back on our lives, you know, and you've spent every day, many hours of the day, practicing and uh, striving for Mahapanya, for great wisdom, I think in the long run, you will be very glad, as opposed to the other, the other option, which is not an option, to living your life immorally, or gaining with incorrect livelihood. Now, because of this world and all different views, <clears throat> all the different schools of thoughts, religions, practices, Transparent practices, secret practices, um, things that uh, are hidden, all these kind of things that exist in the world, I still, I still think and I still with conviction believe that wisdom wins in the end. Wisdom wins in the end. So I encourage you to... Uh, have great faith, great conviction, great deliverance, right? Great determination, <clears throat> great diligence, great effort in the Buddhist, in the Buddhist way, in the Lord Buddha's path. Because this, I think, I don't know of anything else that will lead you to great wisdom. I really don't. I, I've, you know, people ask, why have you become so uh, staunch on this and 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 I dare say even some people think I'm religious I'm not religious I actually on a personal level don't think Buddhism is a religion although it's classified as one <clears throat> but Buddhism is not so is not such a thing in my view Buddhism is a uh, is a practice it's a cultivation and development of factors it's empowering oneself to one's full capability to develop the abilities that we have already beyond 
their capability to go further and further and further. And this is not done simply by believing or praying, right? This is done by application, by honing all your, uh, I guess, all your faculties, right? And this is a very different thing and is not spoken enough about in the world. I mean, people uh, that live in the lay world, for example, stop at certain levels and they put the brakes on and they don't go any further. For example, they might just, you know, get a family and stop there or buy a house and stop there and think that's happiness, not understanding that death comes. And then what next, right? See, wisdom allows uh, for this beyond concept, right? <clears throat> in other words, when wisdom is activated in the chitta or is aroused and the chitta starts shackling off all the ignorance, tell me, that's, tell me there's something better than that, right? But I understand, you know, there's, there's horses for courses, there's different levels of maturity, Right? And we saw that even in the Buddha's day, and you can see it through the discourses and the teachings. Not everybody's ready to become a monk or a nun, or <clears throat> you know, not everybody's ready, not everybody wants to. I understand all this. But I ask you, like for example, I understand. I ask you, What's better? Do you want better for yourself or not? And then starts, the choices start to be eliminated. And then you start to see that there's not really a choice in this. For example, when I've talked about, you know, I'll touch briefly here, when we talk about, for example, right and wrong, right? Right and wrong in the Buddha sense is not the same in the, as in the worldly ways of living. You know, so right and wrong is a big thing because we only go so far because when we go to school and we try to live in society, we, we tend to go as far as legal right and wrong. But legal doesn't mean right sometimes. Sometimes legal means wrong sometimes, Right? So, you know, the Buddha tells us to abstain from many things, right? For example, the definition of sexual misconduct. There's a deep definition to this, right? Do you know about it? Maybe I'll talk on it someday. But, you know, there's, there's many things in the practice that are, that's hard to find in the circles out there because People, most lay people are concerned with surviving and uh, having their wants met, right? And I understand this. This is not like a, a put down or, a, you know, or, you know, kind of like a, 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 a therapy session or anything like that or a pep talk. <clears throat> but I encourage you, like, if you come to watch my videos, if you come to watch if you've subscribed to my my channels and some of what I say makes sense to you and you start to understand why my perspective and my intentions of doing these talks and Dharma discussions and videos is to share with you what I know, what I've learnt. And uh, what I've learnt in this case is... Once you understand, once you can see the difference between right and wrong through the Noble Eightfold Path, right, through those eight factors, because they're called Samma, right, Samma, which means right or correct, right, but generally it's right, but it's correct. So correct views, correct uh, renunciation or correct uh, resolve, correct speech, correct livelihood, correct effort, correct action, correct focus or awareness, and correct concentration. Were you taught these in school? 
to focus on all these eight all these things and and what these things all mean right you see there's a lot there there's a lot there to work on once you start chewing on this uh, on this big bone you'll start to see that really or at least I think you'll start to see it's just my opinion right I think you'll start to understand that really there's nowhere to there's nowhere else there's no better way to go because the other way is just you you know you're heading towards self self destruction in a lot of ways you know I'd like to try to reach out on uh, do some more interviews and things like this but uh, I just don't have the time and strength and energy to uh, project in that direction because I'm trying to put all my strength and energy into the practice and building up a kind of an online community that may lead to better things for the community and and uh, and beyond right so that's that's as much as I can do but uh, you know if you want to help with this channel uh, or you would like to make clips, or you would like to help in some way, or you'd like to help with Buddhist Cafe, just you can simply, easily reach out to me on Buddhist.cafe. Now, thank you again uh, to all the people that have been viewing the videos. Please don't get disheartened by the views or think no one's watching. The views should be a lot more than what they are. I was told by YouTube, and I've heard it from other YouTubers as well, that at times, depending on what you say, you get shadow banned, you get suppressed on YouTube. Now, BitChute, I'm not sure. <clears throat> BitChute channel, if you're watching on BitChute, um, you know, it'd be good to have that channel grow some more. But more importantly, if you haven't yet, please subscribe uh, to Buddhist.cafe. Uh, now, every Sunday, I'm going to be having some uh, Dharma discussions and just discussions about relevant issues there <clears throat> on our stream that we have that we've built so i encourage you to uh join there and uh, uh connect with us uh, if you have any, any ideas of how to grow things and you know fundraising is a is a huge uh huge thing that we need help with in terms of being able to do more things and grow our platform if you have any ideas of how to grow that uh, I'll be most um, appreciative um, and I'll be most eager to listen of how we can do that. But, you know, my hands are tied in terms of how much I can actually do in, the, in that direction. But, uh, you know, that's where the lay community comes in. Anyway, I hope my words uh, tonight have uh, done some, of, some use to you. I wish you... Uh, you know, good tidings, you know, piti hotu, suki hotu, upeka hotu, nirodo hoti, and if you don't